Yo, what's up guys and welcome today to my 1 million coin squad. So if you do enjoy today's video, drop that like rating and subscribe if you are new. But the boys, as you can see on my screen right now, you see the team that we're currently rocking. You would probably wondering, why is Lukaku only a concept card? Let me just quickly show you in my what's going on in my transfer list right now. Yeah, I have lovely friends, just just to say. They've listed my Sanchez and Lukaku for three days. I've had to deal with it with a day so far. I have two further days to go. But I have Sanchez and I also have Romelu Lukaku, which is really annoying in my transfer list. So they would normally be in the team, but this is where I'm going to need some of your input at the end of today's video. But we'll start off in goal with David De Gea. Literally, as the game came out at midnight, today pretty much uh, we got two 15k packs for some reason some of you guys aren't getting your sort of pre-order items why that is i'm not too sure it might just be you get it on the 29th some of us got luck but De Gea so far he played six games for me on his first owner card so of course i have packed this card unfortunately i didn't record it either but his other card i played about 50 matches with him and he was absolutely insane one of the best goalkeepers i've used actually on the game but other goalkeepers seem to be making a load of mistakes but Six saves at the same time. EA, fix your goalkeepers, please. Now, one of my favourite cards that I've used on FIFA 18 so far, it's Inform Antonio Valencia. What a card this is. 42 matches played, two goals and an assist for me, which is pretty decent considering that he's a right back and 40 games. But look at the stats on that card, boys. 89 pace, which is fantastic. 86 physical, which that's quite important in this game. 81 defending, which will do the job. 84 dribbling, 80 passing, and he's got 70 shooting, which means that he can actually finish stuff for once. But Antonio Valencia, my favourite right back on the game, and I've used uh, the players I haven't used yet, actually, I'll quickly add, is Danny Alves. I haven't used Kyle Walker either, so I'd like to try those cards before I say uh, Antonio Valencia is the best normal gold card in the game. But moving on to centre-back is Eric Bailly. My first centre-back, he's scored five goals in 67 games that just shows you that your defenders mean a lot more this year corners for me are working out pretty well and honestly by is one of the best defenders I've used but if you ask anyone who's actually played against me so far they tell you that my center back partnership I play very very well with so if you ask Ryan I'm sure he'll be able to tell you but the thing with Bailly he's so quick so strong as well absolute monster of a card and then when you put him together with Jerome Boateng they just work incredibly together both of them got similar pace so they're quite quick but where Boateng just comes in a bit better. Sometimes Bailly goes a bit further forward when you don't really want him to. That's the AI trying to do a little bit of defending for you. But Boateng drops back. It's insane. It's such a good partnership. Highly recommend that. In at left back, we have David Alaba. Probably one of my favourite left backs in the past couple of years. Last year, I didn't really enjoy him and Boateng too much. But Alaba... Yet again, he's such an awesome card. Look at the stats that he has. 86 pace, going with 82 defending, 80 dribbling, 4-star weak foot. The guy's a decent player, to be honest with you. There's not a lot that you have to say about David Alaba, because you know he's going to be a very, very decent player. But that's my back four. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Well, back five, if you include David De Gea. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Is there anyone that you'd change out? So, obviously, we've got Alaba, Boateng, Bailly, Valencia, and we've also got David De Gea. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, because uh, I'm definitely interested to see how you're liking this team so far. So, the next player, boys, is Musa Dembele. This is where you guys get yourselves into the video, because I'm going to ask you a question right at the end. So, stay tuned, because it's definitely going to uh, involve you guys into today's video. But, as you can see, 7 goals, 12 assists. He's more of the defensive midfielder, who I've got in my three-man midfield, so to speak. And his overall stats are very, very good. If you're looking at sort of like attribute details, look at that strength. 92 strength in your midfield. The, he's so decent, boys. And he's got very, very well-rounded stats. Probably one of the cheapest players I've got in the team as well. He's about, I think he's about 30,000 coins when I bought him. So depending on when you watch this video, it is the end of September for me right now when I'm recording this. So player prices may have fluctuated quite a lot by now. But overall, Dembele, absolute beast for 27,750 coins. Not a bad player, to be honest with you. That's probably affordable for most people. The next player, Arturo Vidal. One of the newest additions to my club, actually. Now, Vidal is the perfect box-to-box -box midfielder. He's strong, he's powerful, very, very decent finishing on this game. That has to be said. I mean, look at his stats for me. Nine games, 15 goals and six assists. 
Honestly, dude, he's a very, very decent card. It's a shame his player face hasn't been updated in FIFA, because I really like how he's got a decent... Well, his, his beard's a lot better now, to be honest with you. And I like beards, like, as you can tell. But I wanted to... Yeah, please update his game face. But from the nine games that I've played with him so far, he's definitely been my favourite midfielder so far. But I haven't used Paul Pogba yet, so uh, yeah, I, th I think Paul Pogba is going to tip it for me. But I'll turn it out, my favourite midfielder, sort of box to box so far. And there you go, moving on to probably one of the best players I've used on this game so far, other than L Lukaku, which I'll move on to in a moment. 64 matches, 49 goals and 83 assists. Kevin De Bruyne, 132 goal contributions in 64 matches. That's almost... Two, whether it be a goal and an assist in every single match that I've played with him, it's unbelievable. This card is, is dribbling, it's fantastic, his passing's great. Although he has 75 pace, he feels a lot quicker than 75 pace as well. And that 84 shooting as well, it, it just doesn't feel like that. It feels a lot higher. This card is an absolute gem. As you can see, I bought him for 155,000 coins, and he's currently going for about 220 to 250,000. So we've made 100,000 coins for like that, just by buying him quite early in the early access. If we have a quick look at his attribute details, his shot power looks like 85, he's got 83 finishing, 86 long shots. Overall, his card as an attacking midfielder is just perfect. He's got the upgrade that he deserves, and honestly, dude, in-game, he's absolutely incredible. If I could recommend any cam, I've tried Ericsson, uh, and obviously now Kevin De Bruyne. If you have the coins for Kevin De Bruyne, he's absolutely incredible. Get him. Highly recommend. Okay, boys, moving on to my right wing, and that is Henrik Mkhitaryan. My, I, I just love this card. Yes, I should probably be playing someone like Willian or someone like that, but overall, Mickey, 56 matches, 33 goals, and 30 assists. So if you imagine what Kevin De Bruyne has done... Mickey's now contributed to 63 goals combined in 56 games. So, you can see how many goals I'm scoring on this game, can't you? Like, Mickey and De Bruyne are contributing that many goals for me. It's ideal. And 34,000 coins is quite cheap, considering he's got 5-star weak foot, 4-star skill. And he's got 86 pace, 86 dribbling. There's not a lot more you can say about Mickey. He's a high-quality player for a reasonable price. And honestly, dudes, I'd recommend picking him up. Because I've tried Willian. Willian's very, very good. But it's the tracking back bit William doesn't really do it, even if you set his custom tactics to do so. And Mickey's dribbling, i found, is a lot better. When uh, I don't know why that is, but it just feels better. And then moving on to my left winger, I did, have a, I did buy an Anthony Martial. But if you saw my video going from the squad battles rewards, then you did know, then you'll, then you'll find that yeah, I did pack Anthony Martial as well. So I now have two Manchester United players that are relatively expensive that are first owner. I'd love a first owner Lukaku, but we haven't got him quite yet. Yet again, this card's one of those that I'm going to ask you guys at the end of today's video for something, so stick around yet again. But this card is very, very good yet again. It's still OP, 91 pace, 85 dribbling, 79 shooting. He's almost as OP as last year, but the strength side of things he's not great with on this game at the moment. But overall, Martial, you don't really need to say a lot about him. You guys know how OP he is. I'm sure you guys have got a lot of uh, Martials in your teams and things like that. So yeah, there's not a lot to say about Martial, but he's a very, very good card still. Okay, moving on to the final player, but let me just go to the transfer list because that's where my Lukaku is. The best striker on FIFA 18. 100%. 53 games, 101 goals and 42 assists. 143 goal contributions in 53 matches. Now, when you combine that with De Bruyne, with Mkhitaryan, I'm almost scoring three or four goals a game. Yes, defending is a little bit different this year. I'm trying to go for something, a higher level of FIFA this year. So I'm, I believe I've had a very, very good start. But this Romelu Lukaku card, oh my word, he finishes everything, dudes. If you get even half a chance, he'll bury it. Left foot, bury it. Right foot, eh, he'll bury it most of the time. And heading, oh my word, that's his best. That's his best thing. You cross the ball, Lukaku's going to slam that into the back of the net. And as you can see, 93 strength. So he outstrikes pretty much all, almost all defenders, to be fair. He's an absolute tank. But... The thing with Lukaku, it's a shame I can't use him for the next one day and 23 hours, to be honest with you. I don't get to use this card for that amount of time. Right, so this is where you guys come into it. As you can see, Alexis Sanchez. I am going to sell Sanchez. He's, I'm not really a massive fan of him, but it, it's one of those. 200,000 coins I've got. 
364,000 coins I've got in my club, so we'll get in and around the 550,000 coin mark when we sell Alexis Sanchez. This is where you guys come into it, so drop that like rating and let me know your thought in the comments section whether I should take Anthony Martial out of my team and we'll pop him quickly on the bench and then we get someone from left wing that is from Chelsea and he's from the Garden of Eden. Oh, hello. I ha oh, okay. I have Hazard's loan play. Okay. If we put Edin Hazard into our team, drop a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments by, by putting Hazard if we should get a real version of Hazard in our team. However, there is a second variation that we can do. We can leave Martial in the team and we can drop Dembele. And I think you guys know what's coming. We can get Paul Pogba in our midfield yet again. Oh, sorry, guys. I've got, I've got his loan card in my midfield again. But... Let me drop a like if you do that again and put Paul Pogba in the comment section down below. And that is the player that we'll put in our team. So you've got an option. Put Edin Hazard in the comments or put Paul Pogba. And there you guys have it. That is my 1 million coin squad build. It's probably it's in and around that price. Don't quote me too much on it because it might be a bit above to be honest. But we'll call it that. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video as well. It would be greatly appreciated. Smash that like rating and subscribe if you are new. If you've come all this way to the video, then you're an absolute legend. But yeah, if you have any questions about this team or if you want me to answer any questions about your teams or recommendations or anything like that, drop me a comment and I'll be sure to answer your questions. But until the next video, guys, thank you guys for watching. And we'll catch you in tomorrow's video, which I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, but stick around, boys. I'll be there at half six tomorrow. See you later.